there, this is Carrie from Stamp with CT. I have a little bit different video for you today. I'm part of a bundle bonus group, and it's a group of Stampin' Up! demonstrators. We come together and we create a project featuring a bundle each month. So that means using either a stamp die bundle or a stamp punch bundle, and each of us create a project that's submitted so what that does is gives you lots of inspiration for the bundle that we're featuring each month. Now, I like to share that tutorial with my team and also in my community Facebook group called CT's Craft and Connect. I will link to that group in the description of this video so that you'll be able to see the full tutorial or you can let me know and I can email the tutorial to you as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll tell you a little bit more about this tutorial. We share with you the dimensions, the cutting dimensions of the projects and also the supply list, but there's not directions or instructions. These projects are meant to be able to be reproduced by looking at the picture and just having those cutting dimensions and products. So this month, which is September, 2023, we're featuring the beautiful balloon stamp die bundle. So we've got some awesome stamps. These are great for any type of celebration card. We're actually going to be making a graduation card today. This has coordinating dies, and this is an amazing die set that you could actually use as a standalone set. You don't necessarily have to have the stamps. Of course, it's great to purchase the bundle and save 10%, but you don't have to have the stamps to use the dies or vice versa. We're pulling in the Zoo Crew Designer Series paper, which has lots of really fun little critters. They're very talented. They can juggle, they can knit, they can ride scooters and bikes. But there's also some awesome black and white designs on the B side, makes this paper super versatile. So as I said, we're making a graduation project. I've started um, to put some of the pieces together already. So I've got my inside panel, and a piece of the designer series paper on the outside. So this is an eight and a half by five and a half piece of basic black scored at five and a quarter. No, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna work on our focal image next. Got a piece of the gold foil sheets and then also a piece of basic white to mat over it. And again, those measurements will be listed in your tutorial going to set this aside for right now because the shine factor along with my lighting and camera gets a little bit too shiny. So I've cut from the dies a black balloon and then also a piece of the specialty designer series paper. It's an acetate and we're just going to layer those two pieces together and again there may be a little bit of a shine factor. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of Stampin' Seal Plus in the corner of the balloon so that I can pop this acetate over it and just line it up. Now I'm putting it in the corner so that the adhesive doesn't show when we put our project together. I also have just a little diamond shape. Now this was just freehand cut to create the mortarboard of our graduation cap. And it's gonna go right up here in the corner. I think we're gonna add it with the dimensional in just a minute. So that's gonna cover up that adhesive, but that's still strong enough to keep that piece together. Okay, we're going to go ahead from gold foil sheet again. We've got the little tassel cut from the dies. We're going to come into the center of this mortar board and probably just add that with a little glue dot. Let's do that. I think that's going to be the easiest way to attach that piece. So I'm going to take my nail, scrunch that glue dot up just a little bit. And then we'll be able to add our tassel. So that's meant to go on the balloons. Oops, it flipped over. Let me fix that. That's meant to go on the balloons. 
but it works perfectly for a graduation cap. Now, I'm going to pull in my classic matte dots. And this is an embellishment that I absolutely love. Got just a couple black dots left. And I'll use my take your pick tool. Pick up that little black knot. And I'm just going to set it right over the end of our tassel. Okay, that looks good. So these do come in white, vanilla, gray, and black, and they're a great addition to so many different projects. Now we'll go ahead and add, I think we'll go ahead and use a dimensional for this to add that mortarboard graduation cap up here in the corner. Now we're going to need to get our positioning. And I want this balloon to be off kilter just a bit. We may have to adjust our graduation cap. Let's do that. I want that balloon just off kilter a bit because I'm going to stamp the little string for the balloon. And this is part of the stamp set. So just getting my positioning. I'm actually going to just lift this up. Stamp that down. And we'll adjust just a little bit. Okay, let me get this ink pad out of the way. Put my stamp over on my chamois. Bring in a couple more dimensionals. Pop up my balloon. And we'll get that situated there. onto our string. Okay, so now we're going to be able to put this on our project. But first, we'll mat it with that gold. And I think, again, we'll use a little Stampin' Seal Plus since we're applying that to the gold foil sheet. Need a nice, strong adhesive. I need to move it over just a little bit. As long as you don't press that stamp and seal plus down, it's still repositionable. Okay, we'll be able to put that on our project now. And I'm trying to decide if I want to go ahead and have it straight or put it in a little bit of an angle. I've gone ahead and stamped my greeting ahead of time. I think I may actually put that panel at an angle so I can bring my sentiment in like this. Let's do that. Go ahead and add that to the card front. out there. So you may not recognize this piece that I stamped the sentiment on. 
And again, this comes from the um, Zany Zoo stamp set. So again, a little bit of a surprise because that's a more kid-friendly stamp set, but this is a great sentiment for any celebration. So we're gonna be adding the sentiment over here, but let me show you how I created that. This die set is called Something Fancy and it carried over from our mini catalog last year. And there's some awesome dies in this that you can make labels with. We're gonna be using this smallest die here. So I have the die cut just as it comes with our sentiment on it. Oops. So you can tell that's very different from what we have that we're gonna be using on our project. So how did we do that? We stamp it and then we bring the die back in and cut it again. So once you've stamped your sentiment and you cut it out, you cut it again. And when you take that piece away, that's how you can customize your sentiment piece. So it's an awesome way to get a little bit of extra out of your dies. So we're going to bring this right across. And because we glued that down, I think we're going to pop this up. And we're gonna be done with this card, y'all. Bring this right over here. And I'm probably gonna turn it upside down to see if I'm straight because I've got a lot going on with this project. Right about there. But I think it's something fun and cute that I'm gonna enjoy sending and I hope that the recipient enjoys it as well. Thanks for stopping by today. See you next month.